Oh, hi! My eyes are bothering me so much right now. This week, we're gonna do a type of project I haven't done here. We're gonna re-reconstruct an old project, because this happened when I first got a sewing machine. Before I realized that just because one of the fabrics you're working with is stretchy doesn't make both fabrics you're working with stretchy. I don't really know what's happening here. There was a phase where I was very into wearing colored shirts under t-shirts and I thought, hey, let's just take out that entire underlayer. This red shirt fit fine. I just decided to attach it to make it look more cool and it just looks like shit now. <laughs> and just to point out, this is one of my favorite goddamn shirt designs I've ever seen a band put out and it's a Westbound Train shirt. You should check them out because they're great. Don't have a game plan yet, but we'll wing it as if we do anything else on this channel. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock off this entire collar. I'm also gonna lop off the entire end of these sleeves. Now to help get the creative juices flowing a little bit. That is delicious. Thanks, Bavaria. All right, so now that I got this shirt fairly back to basics, I wanna say I fitted it last time I tried to DIY this. Do, 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 DIY this. Remix. God damn it, I'm the worst. I figured out what we can do, what I can do. Figured out what I can do with this. And if you have the same similar supplies at home, you can also do, but you're probably just watching this. You're like, yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. She's pretty drunk. The thing you don't wanna do is turn this into a turtleneck. We're gonna make a cowl out of this short scrap that I found. So our first step in making a cowl out of the back of an old t-shirt is to square it up. Rectangle it up, party up. DMX jokes? Nobody. Biggest necessity of this shape is to make sure the width of it can go over your giant fucking noggin. So we're gonna attach the two short ends together, right sides, hit it with a straight stitch. As a person who's been wearing glasses for almost 20 years, you would think that I would, you know, at some point, remember every time I change my shirt, I had to take these fucking things off my face. Why do I never remember that? <laughs> you want to just fold that in half the long way? Wrong side together and you can open your shirt collar up a little bit for this it depends on how wide everything is I guess it doesn't matter which way because both of the outside should be the right side of the fabric pin that right sides together with the right sides of your t-shirt dangerously turtlenecky I can't really tell I feel like it's smaller than I wanted it to be so friends what do we do about these sleeves do we add some red trim do we just hem them do we cut them off and make this into a tank top cowl? I'll get back to you. While I was deciding what to do with the sleeves, I touched up the side seams on here because man, those were bad. What I did decide to do with the sleeves is because for some reason I made them a little bit longer when I made the original shirt where I kind of just pulled the side seam up and down the sleeves and it was an extra large shirt. So the sleeves were, you know, longer. But I also found these red t-shirt scraps that match the red that's already on here. Close enough. I took the red sleeve piece, marked in chalk how wide the black sleeve was, cut off the bottom. Now I'm gonna do a straight stitch on both of these pieces, which I made match, and then we will attach it to the end of the black sleeve with a straight stitch. When you're putting the sleeves together to sew the red to the black, you wanna take the red piece, turn it right side out and stuff it into the inside out black sleeve. Clean up your threads and let's put on some sweat. My arms look disproportionately long in this shirt. 